border borders uh, for they have continued to be a challenge in as far as road uh, crashes are concerned. We have thus registered from uh, 16th to 23rd, that's the last week, we have registered a total number of 222 accidents. And uh, among these, the 222, 57 have been fatal for only border borders. Then 146 uh, have been serious. And among the fatalities, 19 people have been passengers on these motorcycles, well as uh, 38 have been riders of these motorcycles. Then among the serious uh, accidents registered among the border borders, 99 people have been riders and uh, 47 people have been passengers, uh, people traveling on these uh, motorcycles as passengers. Uh, uh, this, of course, uh, remains the fact that uh, most of uh, the riders or motorcyclists are not obeying these traffic laws and regulations on the roads. Uh, we thus really sound a warning to all those riders on roads that they must uh, observe uh, traffic laws and regulations while using these roads. Uh, they, must, they are all required to have uh, crash elements. Elements really have, pro have been proven that uh, in most cases when these people are involved in uh, road accidents, uh, those with uh, uh, crash elements, they have always survived these uh, crashes or death. Uh, and those without, of course, they are the people that are continuing to die in uh, road accidents. Uh, they must all have uh, reflective jackets whenever they are riding these uh, motorcycles while on roads. For these jackets help us, especially at night for other road users to view or to see uh, these people on roads so that they can uh, ably uh, avoid them in case of accidents. Uh, they must also not carry more than one passengers. And some of them even find them with two or three, which is very dangerous. It puts them, it puts riders at a risk to control these motorcycles uh, in case of anything of any eventuality. So we ask them to always put one passenger at a time on a motorcycle. Then they must all have and own uh, riding or driving licenses. Uh, these are documents really that uh, show us that uh, these people are competent enough to be on roads using them. And you find uh, most of them, or the majority, do not have these licenses. So they are all required to have uh, uh, riding licenses uh, for them to be able to use the roads. Uh, then uh, they must also not drink and drive or, or ride. Uh, not only drinking liquor or alcohol, but also some other uh, intoxications like drugs. Uh, that some of them uh, use drugs and then they want to be on roads, which really puts them at a risk 